rates and concentrations. Uh, we have four questions all together, starting off with these two. The first one, the top gallop of a horse is 48 kilometers per hour. Was it in meters per second? Now I'll rewrite that as 48 kilometers over one hour. Now 48 kilometers, we know that there are a thousand meters in a kilometer, so that becomes 48 thousand kilometers over an hour is 60 by 60, isn't it? 60 minutes in an hour, 60 seconds in a minute. And that comes out to 13 and a third meters per second on your calculator. All right, next one. The Earth's radius is 6,400 kilometers. What distance are the point on the equator travel in 40 minutes? First of all, work out the circumference of the Earth at the equator. And to do that, we use the formula C equals 2 pi r. And that's 2 pi times the radius of the Earth, 6,400. As you know, the speed is the distance divided by the time. Now, the Earth goes full circle in 24 hours. So that's this, we'll divide this by 24. And that gives me 1675 kilometers per hour. So in one hour, it'll travel 1675. In 40 minutes, the distance would be equal to a fraction of that, which is 40 divided by 60. Oops. And that gives me the figure 1117 kilometers. So it'll travel in 40 minutes, it'll travel, travels uh, just over a thousand kilometers an hour, or 1,117 kilometers in one in, in the 40 minutes. Okay, the next two questions. Number three, the cost of a chemical is $24 for 100 mil. What is its cost for 20 mil? Well, what we'll say is we'll say that 100 mil That will give me 20, that's $24. So one mil will be equal to 24 divided by 100. Therefore, 20 mil will be equal to 20 times 24 over 100. If you like, what you can say is that that's going to be knock these guys off. That's 2 times 24 is 48 over 10, which is $4.80. Here's your cost. All right, this one here, we're going to, um, we're told that Mary earns $24 per hour in the shop. How many hours does Mary work to earn $768? Okay, so I'll let, we'll let, H equal the hours, number, number of hours work, number of hours. Okay, so in other words, she'll get 24 times H will give us the total of 768. And H equals 768 divided by 24. And I think that gives me it's right, 72 hours as a result. Right, that's done.